the biofuels program here at Central Carolina Community College started in 2002. Uh, it was started by two folks who lived in the area who knew a good deal about, uh, well, one of them was a diesel mechanic, and then one of them had just graduated from college and had done uh, a master's, or I'm sorry, their thesis on converting a tractor to run on biodiesel. So they got together and they started teaching a program here uh, in uh, the continuing education department. And basically it was just a class where people could get together and learn about the fundamentals of renewable fuels, mostly biodiesel. Um, that carried on for about two years. And then as the industry grew, uh, we were really the only people at that time who were teaching a class like this. And so when North Carolina got a strategic plan for building the biodiesel industry, they came to us and said, uh, you guys have been doing this for a while. How about taking it from a continuing education program to a workforce development program so that way uh, you can provide support to the industry as it grows. So we were in a pretty natural position. So uh, that was about 2005. Um, at that point, we had received a grant to build a mobile processing unit that we would drag around the state and do demonstrations on how to do fuel production. And, uh, and then we received another grant from the uh, General Assembly of North Carolina to purchase some of the lab equipment that's in this lab. Uh, after that, we received some more funding for more lab equipment, uh, and then ultimately in 2008, uh, received $200,000 from the Biofuel Center of North Carolina to build a, a pilot scale education workforce training plant. So now we have uh, the capability to do fuel production on site here and also train our students to do fuel analysis. Uh, those are two of the skills that uh, have been identified by industry in the state to have value. Uh, typically the companies in this state are on the smaller scale of biodiesel production, so we're talking commercial plants are anywhere between half a million to five million gallons, and that's really what we're focusing on in this program, is training people to uh, be able to work in those size plants. Um, so now really what we've done is in 2008, we started our uh, full two-year associate's degree curriculum. It's the first in North Carolina and really the first on the East Coast. There are a couple in the Midwest, uh, but as far as anything around here, it's unique. Uh, we've actually had students come as far away f as uh, Michigan to come take the program here. Uh, one of the advantages of this program, being the only one that does what we do, is we uh, do have uh, a great relationship with industry. And so the industry is relatively small, but we feel pretty confident that uh, when the industry does, when individuals do want to hire new people, they know we're here and they will come and we, we can uh, try and arrange for one of our students to you know, be employed there. So it's a nice relationship that we've tried to develop with the industry uh, in the state. So as for the, the development of the program itself, so we took a couple different angles. One, we knew we had to develop some biofuels specific courses, which we did. So we have a, an introduction course, we have a, um, an advanced production course that's taught by a gentleman who actually builds uh, biodiesel plants throughout the country. Uh, we have an analytical course, which we use all the equipment in this room to do fuel analysis training. Uh, a waste streams management class that uh, a wastewater engineer tr uh, teaches so that we can not only look at how to make the fuel, but we can also take a bigger picture of you know, what are we doing here? What are the things, the, the, the side streams or the, the waste streams and how can we mitigate those? Or how can we maybe turn a profit on those too? Um, and so we've developed those courses from the ground up. But besides that, we really actually took a lot of the program, uh, a lot of the program came from other programs here at the college. So we have industrial science programs, uh, we have uh, biotechnology programs here, and we were able to pull some of those courses in, not reinvent the wheel with them, but just roll them into our program, and it really works out quite well. Uh, they're already staffed, they already have equipment to do training. Uh, it's already in the schedule and it just works out very well. Uh, we found that it worked out very well to try and do that instead of trying to invent a whole slew of new courses um, when we really didn't need to. So, Right now about 30 hours of our 
60 hour program transfer to four year degrees. Right now, none of our biofuels courses transfer, um, mostly because four year colleges don't really have the classes. They don't have the equivalent. So there is nowhere that you can go and uh, you know, have an equivalent of our analytics class because there really just isn't one offered anywhere. Uh, it, our introduction classes, we are working on getting those uh, uh, worked out with four-year degrees to be able to, four-year universities to be able to transfer in. But as of now, um, really th what transfers are those general credits in, in a lot of the, the, uh, the, um, the social science electives and, and those types of things. Right.